Our next guests are truly astonishing. The Memphis chapter of the PRSA, Public Relations Society of America, announced their 45th annual Communicator of the Year Award. It's an honor dedicated to those who have an outstanding ability to engage with and contribute to the community. And 2023 marks the third year the organization chose to also recognize a student communicator of the year. Let me tell you, our next guest's resume could blow anyone away. Here with us today, winner of the Student Communicator of the Year Award, Oakley Weddle, and PRSA President Kim Marks Malone. Welcome to Live at Nine. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. Okay, so before we get to your story, Oakley, just tell me what 45 years means and what you do. So I'm the president of the Public Relations Society of America chapter, and I just kind of oversee it's about 158, 160 communicators from around the Mid-South. Um, and we promote communication, we promote public relations and advocacies for organizations. And we like to recognize every year someone in the community, uh, not necessarily someone who does communications for a living, but someone who is a communicator, a true communicator, who advocates for the city of Memphis in some way, shape, or form, or maybe they advocate for one of our philanthropic organizations like St. Jude. Uh, so for 45 years, we've been doing that, wanting to call attention to the work that folks are doing in, in the city of Memphis to help make us stronger and better. And so in comes Oakley. Okay, so Oakley, first of all, I was like, wait, I'm, I don't think I see this right. So you have a nonprofit and a PR firm, and you're not even gra gra graduating yet. But can you tell me the backstory? You have an interesting backstory. Just walk us through how you ended up with these two entities. Absolutely, yeah. So I've always been a people person, so I've never really met a stranger. So I've public relations was a natural fit. And when I got into college, I was just like, go, 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 and took as many classes as possible. And I also realized, oh, I could be doing this freelance. So I started my own communications firm, Jubilant Communications. Um, but to back it up a little bit, in 2016, we unfortunately lost my brother. Tomorrow is actually the eighth anniversary oh, of that. My goodness, I'm sorry. Thank you. And in 2020, we decided it was important to honor his legacy, and we started the Pay It Forward Foundation. And my brother's name was Peyton, and so it's P-E-Y It Forward, Pay It Forward. And the whole organization's purpose is to spread random acts of kindness and to promote education at the University of Memphis through a scholarship and to give back to our community just like he did in his short life. Oh my goodness, how old was he? And he was 21. Really, how did we lose him? Um, unfortunately, he died in a one person car accident. Oh my word, I'm so sorry. Thank and you. so you, um, you chose communications and this nonprofit, how do they interplay with each other and how do you hope that communications will help others? Um, Communications is all about telling a story, and I've always been passionate about storytelling, and I found it incredible and healing to be able to tell my brother's story that was cut too short, and to be able to honor his legacy, but also help others tell their stories and amplify the stories that are often unrepresented in Memphis as well. Wow, okay, Kim, in, you introduced the Legacy Achievement Award. Explain why that was important this year. So in the past, like I said, the Communicator of the Year may or may not be a professional communicator. And we have so many people in the communications industry, and that includes public relations, it includes journalists, and all of the work that goes into it. And we thought, um, after we lost Jennifer last year, we were like, we need to recognize someone in our field who really, over their lifetime, has made a huge impact in our city through their communications. And we couldn't think of a better time or a better person to honor than Jennifer this year. Mm -hmm. Wow, and so what do the um, celebrations look like for you? For us, we, uh, we, had a, we had a program where we recognized them and Jennifer's family came and uh, Chef Kelly English spoke on her behalf. Oh, it, was, yeah. it was amazing. Yeah, was because fantastic. she wrote about food, cuisine. Food, all of the restaurants. But she not only wrote about the restaurants and the food, but the people. And she told the story of all the people in the city and the food and how food brought us together as a community. So we recognized her in Oakley. And then Ted Townsend, who is the CEO and president of the Greater Chamber, was our professional communicator of the year because he's such a huge advocate and cheerleader for the city of Memphis. Um, so they all came together and our membership came together and recognized and honored them. Okay, and I know that uh, I did want to make it known we did lose her to cancer. Yes. She, yeah, she passed mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. So I just want to thank you both for, for being thank here. Thanks for having us. And I appreciate that you took some your pain and turned it into purpose. So thank, thank you. you. Thank All you. Thank right, you. Congrats.